Okay, so I was asked how to uh, actually make a spec map work in a few easy steps. So I'm going to use a car that I made uh, yesterday. So I, I already know what the result I have in mind is for this one. I'm not going to experiment, so there'll be no uh, faffing about. I'll just take this car and we'll turn it into something that has a spec map. I have made a copy and deleted everything there was in the spec map at first, so let's get on it. Now this has a carbon fiber background, which we want to be steely-like. Uh, I'm sure you've seen uh, similar liveries on training paints. They're quite popular at the moment, so that's why I was asked to do one. And the way we do the base is I do the carbon fiber base and I duplicate it. And I invert the colors. And then I put it up in the green channel first. You can see it here. The reason I invert the colors is because I want it to have the opposite effect of the carbon visual layer, but that's an entirely different story. So first I control and click. You can see in the box over here where the mouse is for the parts layer. And I delete that area in the carbon layer. Do the same for the, car uh, the parts layer in the metallic channel, delete that. Then I control click the mask layer and I delete that bit. That's not strictly necessary, but it'll make it easier for you to see what's going on here. Okay, so before we can go any further with editing this, uh, I'm going to start by creating a new layer for the decals that are on the car. That is decals that uh, will, um, will not be affected by any sort of metallic bit and will be slightly mad because that's what vinyl is like. So here's a new layer, we'll call it uh, decals. And what I simply do is again, using the control click thing, you see here in layer two, I control click. I know that's the banner here because the selection comes up and I paint that area pure white. Same goes here, there's an Nvidia logo. We want the pure white. There's something in the banner, don't need to do that because I already marked it. There's the default car decal layer, which has a few things like the Lamborghini badges. There's the number boards. There's my logos. There's the call change logos. There's a bunch of uh, flags that I put on the car. So you see what I do is just, I have a huge paintbrush of 5,000 pixels. I control click the layer and I just wiggle my paintbrush so you can see that I, um, I color that in. I'm really doing this uh, as sloppily as can be. And it works just fine because iRacing's textures are not high enough resolution that you can appreciate the finer detail of using a mask layer. You can see that uh, I'm just going through all of these one by one until I eventually uh, run out of logos to do it with. And now it's all livery stuff that's left. So I control D to deselect. Now I have this entire bit here that has the decals, but uh, let's just uh, be nice to ourselves and create a new layer for uh, black areas, which I always treat separately. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, brush, paint that all white as well. Then I have some stripes that will be metallic, so we'll call that layer stripes. And I scroll down here and I pick the layers that will have that. And I do the same process. So it's really, there's nothing fancy about this process. There are um, nicer ways to do it, but this works just fine. And if you need to watch this tutorial, you should not bother with um, anything more complex than that. Finally, there's a center stripe, which will not be metallic, so we create a separate layer for this one. And I, once again, control click and pick that. Okay. Now, as you can see, everything's just pure white, which turns out as uh, this sort of uh, tealy color because of the blue layer that's already in the spec map. What I need to do now is remember the order that I want the layers to appear in. 
and I want my decals to be above everything else because otherwise why would I have them? So what I do is I control click the decal layer and then I hit delete on that selection in the center stripe layers, the stripes layers, the black area layers, and in the carbon layer. We repeat the process. What's next up here? Well, we can turn off here and see that uh, I have some black bits that are covering up some other bits. So uh, I should uh, take the black area and I should delete that from the stripes layer, from the center stripe layer, and from the carbon layer. All right, then we have the center stripe, which should be deleted from the carbon layer. It doesn't affect anything else because we've already deleted the bits that the decal interfered with here. And finally, the stripe layer, we will also remove that from the carbon layer. The carbon layer needs to be metallic as well, so we'll duplicate the layer we just made into metallic channel. Same goes for the stripes, which I'll drag in here. So this is really all I need to do all this. Now we're just going to assign values. I want the stripes to be fully metallic, or perhaps maybe a little bit less. Let's say 70%. Uh, Carbon, we'll leave that at full metallic because it's not a pure white layer. It's one that I've uh, made in grayscale before. Center stripe, I don't really want that to be rough at all. So I'll just put 3%. I can also put 0%. But I would still do this process by creating the layer that it is in, because that allows me to just control click this one and work in the spec map exclusively and not have to scroll up and down the layer list, which is uh, quite extensive on this paint. Stripes, they need a little bit of roughness to work, so we'll see 20%-ish. Black areas, keep them at about 45%. Decals, I tend to go with about 30% for uh, this sort of car and the carbon I'll again seems a bit too much to me to make it fully matte so maybe 10% for that and that has actually created a functioning spec map where everything works only on the things that it's supposed to work on you can see the livery is actually uh, recognizable now I can see all the stripes I can see where the decals are I can read the decals I can see where they interfere with each other so I'm just going to control shift S this to save S. Uh, in newer versions of Photoshop, you need control alt S. I have downgraded on purpose because it didn't work quite well with my RTX 3080. Okay, so I'm exporting this as cast back to TDA with my number on it. And at 24 bits per pixel in this case. And let's not forget to export our actual car as well. In iRacing, we are just going to hop into my content and then we are going to hop down to the Hurricane, if I can find it. <laughs> now this uh, is the delivery that I made before, so let me just uh, demonstrate to make sure that you see that this is new. I'll delete all the Lamborghinis that I have and it'll revert to my uh, default paint scheme. And I'll copy the two files in that we just made and allow iRacing to refresh. And there you can see it works perfectly. The decals are clearly not metallic carbon fiber. The stripes do not have the stripy bits of the metallic carbon fiber across it. And everything is just nice and separate. Now to uh, demonstrate uh, how to do this wrong, I'm just going to uh, suppress the metallic layer of the carbon, uh, sorry, of the carbon. Um, and then we're going to uh, duplicate the carbon layer again, invert it, and I'm going to move this up to take its place. So now I've hidden the other layer and we have this carbon layer that's all over. I'll try and export the spec. TGA for this, and I will just copy and replace it. And once iRacing has refreshed, you can see that now it's wrong. There are now stripes coming across 
from the carbon fiber spec map because it has slightly different properties. The text is barely legible. And even on the banner here, you can see that it actually has an effect and uh, ruins the look of it. Now, this carbon fiber did not exist on the actual car. So if I delete the spec map, you can see that it's purely the spec map causing this. Dis disappear from the banner and the stripes and everything. So that's how you can identify that you've made a mistake, is that you start by making delivery look the way you actually want it to look, and then you look at the spec map. Don't bother with the spec map until you're done. And of course we can fix it by just uh, re-exporting our correct one. And placing that back in the folder. There, everything's back the way it's supposed to be. So that's uh, really all you need to do, how, um, how I do it at least. Uh.